I'm Mandy with Altered Self Wellness, and this video is going to be amazing because I am with my friend Jennifer E. LeBoy Oakley, <laughs> who is a multi passionate woman. She is um, fantastic for so many reasons. I've used her organizational skills and her business to help me streamline and organize my business. And I am excited to introduce that today. She's also a Mary Kay rep. Tell me about some of these Mary Kay products, which I've never used. And uh, we're going to learn today. Why did you choose Mary Kay? I used it for years. My mom actually used it. Many of us have moms that used it. I was looking. I've always been a makeup junkie. I've always been. And then uh, I started wearing it as a young adult. And then when I had my daughter, my, my first, my oldest of the three, I was looking for something to do to supplement her income. And so I thought, you know what? I use the skincare. And I love the makeup. So I might as well sell it. And I love everything. Is It just feels so good. And it lasts. It's a really good price point for the quality of it, too. When somebody wants to buy Mary Kay, do you do like a little session with them? So we'll ha we'll we will uh, do some skincare. So I'll talk about what their skin issues are, what their skin needs are, and we'll do skincare together. I'll teach them how to take care of their skin, right. and then based on what their interests are for makeup, whether it's just a really simple, like I don't wear makeup, but I want a little something when I go out, or you know I want a full glam look. We'll work together to to see what colors they like and what colors will go best with their features. And then I'll teach them how to do it. I will teach them how to do it. Do one-on-ones. And I love, love, love one-on-ones are my favorite thing because it's about relationships and you know how much I love relationships. So it's about getting to know somebody, helping them feel great about themselves, of helping them to see, to see their best self. So if they come away feeling more confident about themselves, right. then my job is done. So this is going to be super fun. Um, so you and I have different eye shapes yeah. and there are different ways to apply eye makeup based on your eye shape. Um, we also have different eye color that, um, so different colors accentuate different eye colors more than others, but we're actually going to use the same eye color, eye shape, eye, eyeshadow shade to accentuate how well it works on blue eyes. I have hazel. I have green and blue and a little bit of brown. Um, Amanda, you're blue, correct? Yep. Mostly blue. Yep. Um, so we're going to use some eyeshadow for blue eyes, but I'm going to use it too to show you the difference. Okay. Now, Mandy, do you know what type of eyes you have? Do you know what shape, eye shape you have? I don't know. Downturned? <laughs> you actually are more deep set. Do you know oh, what that is? They're deep, deep set, set, downturned, hooded. <laughs> <laughs> You're deep set, which means that your brow bone actually protrudes out a little bit past your... Um, I, eyeshadow technique we're going to use for you is actually going to help bring your um, lid back or your lid out and your eye, your brow bone back. So you actually are going to do the reverse of application that I'm going to do because I'm hooded. Um, so my hooded eyes mean that my crease gets kind of covered when I open my eyes by skin that falls down. So um, it's not, it's just the way my eyes are, it's not yeah. a way my eyes are so my lots, of, lots of women have this so it'll be there's great hooded, there's deep set there's yeah. standard there's close set yeah. there's narrow there's all kinds of beautiful ways to have your eyes so there's just different ways to apply your makeup to um accentuate which you want to accentuate so in between the both of us we're gonna be reaching everyone yeah. <laughs> we've got the deep set you guys got the know. Deep set. um and yeah. most people learn the standard there's a there's a standard way to do it um most people learn the standard do you know how many eye colors are typically used to most accentuate your eyes? About four. About four. Okay. So that is also very common. Typically for women who, um, who uh, are just doing the basics, it's three. So yeah. your highlighter shade, your midtone, and your accent color. So the first thing we're going to do is um, I have primer. So, and Mandy, you've got the, the uh, primer packet. And so we're going to open that up. Um, put just a little bit that much, yeah, like a little pea size, rub that between our fingers, and then put it all over, and it feels really good too, it feels really soft. 
Um, and this is just like when you're painting um, a wall, not when I compare a skin to a wall, but it's like when you're painting and you put the primer on first, it helps to give your foundation something to stick to. It also um, evens out your skin. So it kind of fills in any little cracks and crevices and wrinkles and all that kind of stuff to make your skin more even. Um, some people who don't wear foundation will also use this just because it one, it feels good and it still will reflect light to help your skin look more even. So um, that's really soft. That's really mm -hmm. nice primer. Yeah, and it's got um, SPF in it as well. So mm -hmm. um, it's broad spectrum 15. So then we're going to put on our CC cream. Let's do it. This is our beauty blotter. Mary Kay's actually coming out with a beauty blotter. Really? So I'm just putting it on my finger and I'm going to be dabbing it around. And so this is primer, moisturizer and some tint to it as well. So this is a really great one for summer. Yeah, or for those gals that maybe don't like to wear foundation but want to do a little evening out of their skin tone. This is really soft too. Yeah, it's all really soft. It all feels great. Eyelid primer, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, we're gonna put on our eyelid primer. Same thing for the face, that it just it neutralizes your eyes, so eyeshadow will be truer color and stick to your eyelids. Now we have we have these fun color cards that that Mandy has one and I have one, and it comes with these um, the three shades, blush and the lip. So we are going to do our first shade. You are going to use the first shade, number one. I'm going to, we're going to use the first shade. I'm going to put it on my brow bone. You're going to put it on your eyelid. On your lip and your lash line um, to where your bone hits. So now you are going to take your mid-tone shade, that number two, the number two shade, and put that. These are our shades. Okay, on my brow bone? Yep. So I'm, you're gonna do it there because you're trying to bring, you're trying to recede your brow bone in and bring your lid um, out, which is why you're reversing. I'm trying to create some dimension here where there is none right now because of my skin coming over it. So Oh yeah, because my eyes are downturned on the out corner. If yeah. my powder, if my eyeshadow goes too far over, they'll start to look droopy. Yep. So this really helps. I gotta make sure that I am following her instructions because I am a bit of a rebel when it comes to makeup. You're doing good. Her color, um, accent color. Mm. We're actually both gonna put it um, on the outside. Point you should never do three shimmers together. You should always do have a mat in there somewhere. On the blues, and so do you see the difference between mine? Yeah. Showing my rim a little bit, but it's picking up your blues, and for me, it looks fine. But yours is much more complimentary for the color because mine's hazel. Mm -hmm. So I usually use the mid tone to tie in underneath. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows next. Mm -hmm. I um I use eyeshadow or pencil today. I'm going to use eyeshadow. So eyebrows. Nicely groomed and and um, filled in eyebrows just kind of help lift up your face and give you some additional shape. So yeah, the nice frame, a little framework. A little framework, exactly. So I'm using powder. I'm actually using eyeshadow with um, like the eyeliner brush end of my my brow brush to um, fill in my eyebrows. Eyeliner, our eyeliner. Yeah. So we both have steely eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner ever because it is neutral and it's not as harsh as black, um, which black is great for drama. And you can also put eyeshadow over it to kind of, if you want to have purple eyeliner a day or, or teal eyeliner for a day, you can put this on and put the eyeshadow over it and then create a different <laughs> Under eye. So we've gotten our accent color that will bring um, out the area we want to bring out, which on me is on my 
brow bone for use on your lid. Then we have our mid-tone, which is the part we want to recede a little bit more. So I've got that on my eyelid. You've got that on your brow bone. We both have our accent color to give more definition. And we both put our accent colors um, in the, the outer half of our eyelid. So I'm going to go in now and do some work under my eyes. Um, it's, this is not concealer. It's under eye corrector. So specifically made to um, get rid of the circles and help reflect light to help with the puffies underneath too. So I don't have the circles, the puffy so much, but I have genetically um, circles, which no matter how much sleep you get, if you got circles, you got circles. It's genetic. It's not. And you always use when you're putting stuff under your eye, this is this area right here is the most sensitive and the thinnest, the thinnest skin on your whole body. Okay. And your ring finger is the weakest finger on your hand. Okay. So you always use this one to pat down. Um, it's called stipling. So you staple, 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 and pat down. Let me. Yep. So you've got the sample. I've got the full size um, of the Lash Intensity Mascara. This is lengthening and building. 200% um, thicker lashes with this one. So. I'm excited. Yes. Look at that brush. Oh, there. Yeah. Yep. Whoop. Whoop. Um, and I'm actually going to prime too. So I'm going to prime one eye and not prime the other eye. So oh my gosh, this stuff is great. So it's awesome. So can you tell the difference on camera? So this side is primed and this side is not primed. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This, yeah. This side's way darker. And it's a little bit fuller too. So all right. Right. All right, you ready to blush? Let's blush. This looks like a great color. Um so this is like the color looks great on everybody. Everybody, everybody. Okay. Now, lips. You're going to do your lips? Yeah. So you can line. I don't usually line. You should. I don't. Um, you can, and they, America actually has some neutral. Actually, let me, let me line for purposes today. And they have light, medium, and dark nude. So that's the. Oh, that's pretty. That's the color. And I can really just wear this. And like a uh, clear lip gloss over it. And it's really smooth. Right. All the Mary Kay stuff is really soft and satiny feeling. Yeah. Mm. Right, so let's put our let's put our lips on. All right. You can do that on its own. It's good, but we're gonna give a little more color. Oh, I did not bring a lip brush. We'll use this one. So I'm just gonna use my finger. My finger. Do you have special makeup brushes you use? Mm hmm So again, Mary Kay makeup brushes. So I will. Um, we have. So we have the so mineral powder mineral powder foundation brush. That's that one. That's the eye brush. And so these are two the eye brushes. They're just different colors because they're from two different sets. This okay. is an older set than this one. It's the eye brush, and then eye smudger brush to help with smudging the eye the um eyeliner and applying powder eyeliner, powders eyeliner, and then um, blush brush and uh, um, powder brush. The brush that I was using to put my eyebrows on, which you can also use for eyeliner. Nice. The brush and then this. So. I like that it has a comb on the other end. And then this is liquid foundation brush. We have this one too, liquid foundation brush. My handy dandy Mary Kay makeup bag, which has the brushes. Fantastic. So compartment for stuff zippered pocket for stuff and then the brushes too so. oh, come on. Ooh, you gotta go somewhere no so we're gonna do our, our translucent powder the white powder we're gonna do translucent powder it's like if you had a diffuser on your camera and you were taking a shot it diffuses the uh, kind of softens it all yeah i use i just use it to set concealer pretty much unless well, there's do you use translucent powder or do you usually use um, pressed powder for that? Either or. Either or. Oh, right, my finishing spray. Got it, my yeah. spray. Get me spray, girl. Finishing spray. All right. Finishing spray. Love this stuff. 
Look at my look. I love it. Woohoo! <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it. Gorgeous. So how great so what about that that have you ever put your eyeshadow on that way? Uh in that order? No. No? What do you think? It's good. I love it. Yeah. Let's fruit. I feel like I learned today. I learned some new stuff. <laughs> How do people get a hold of you? So they can go to maryk.com backslash J E L O G R A D Y, J E L O G R A D Y. And there is a website that they can send me a message through or J E L O G R A D Y at maryk.com. So yep. if you want to try Mary Kay or you need help just figuring out the basics of makeup, this is your girl. Head on over to the website or email her directly. And I will leave a link in the description of this video on how exactly to do that. Mm -hmm.